There's a road on the Hamilton Mountain that goes north-south. It is the last of the major north-south roads to be scored that does not have a connection to the Lincoln-Alexander Parkway, and therefore, it should probably have bicycle infrastructure. It currently does not. The road in question is Upper Ottawa Street. Let's get cycling. We begin on Mountain Brow Boulevard. If you have seen my episode on Mountain Brow Boulevard, you know that it is a fairly decent route to take. There is an off-road path that cyclists and pedestrians both use, and it therefore scores quite high because of that. It also has an additional bicycle lane, which is always nice too, because sometimes you can't always get to that path, or perhaps the path is busy with pedestrians. Anyways, we are on Upper Ottawa now. Upper Ottawa is about 5.3 kilometers long, and it scores a 74 which is a pretty decent score. Uh, the reason why it scores so high is because it does have a lot of amenities on this route. It's mostly plazas. Uh, there's not really any parks. There is parks nearby, but there's no parks that I really counted towards its score. But there is a bunch of plazas. There's some connections. Uh, unfortunately, the connections are the Park Corridor Trail just south of the Lincoln Alexander Parkway and Stone Church Road, so there's not a lot of connections in the north that we are currently traveling in in this video at the moment. The incline is not horrible, it's an average of 0 0.2 degrees, so very manageable. The worst is probably just under 1 degree, but it's really not noticeable. This is why I like major roads. If you were to have to cycle through neighborhoods, number one, you have to deal with a lot of stop signs. There is no stop signs on Upper Ottawa. There's plenty of lights, perhaps too many lights. But if you were to go through the neighborhood, you'd have to hit all the stop signs. Then you would have to cross busy roads and not have a light to cross a busy road, uh, most likely. And also you keep to the topography. The, the roads inside neighborhoods keep to the topography, and there can be quite a bit of hills, uh, usually quite manageable. Hamilton's fairly flat on top of the escarpment. But, you know, um, sometimes hills, even a little one, can be a, a big hindrance to people. So major streets like this tend to be fairly flat, and this is why we need bicycle lanes on major roads. Upper Ottawa, as I said, scores a 74. Not too far away is Upper Sherman, which scores higher. However, the good portion of Upper Sherman is south of Lime Ridge Road. And we have bicycle lanes there on that street, and it goes all the way to Rymel. However, if you were wanting to cycle down Upper Ottawa to get to all the amenities, all the plazas, Traveling 1.6 kilometers out of your way to then travel 1.6 kilometers back is very inconvenient. So we definitely need to have bicycle lanes on these north-south streets that don't have connections to the Lincoln Alexander Parkway. Uh, I think those are the best ones to work with. So if you did want to go down a street that had a connection to the link, then it would be about... 800 meters out of your way and then 800 meters back. But again, uh, as I said, um, the north end of Upper Sherman looks very much like Upper Ottawa, so why not just stay on Upper Ottawa? <laughs> There's quite a few vehicles in this video where they come very close when passing. Now, do take into consideration that to stabilize this video, the image is kind of cropped. It's a much larger image, but it crops down so that it can be stabilized. So the cars aren't quite as close as they look in the video, but they are still very fairly close, uh, closer than someone who is not an avid cyclist would be willing to have them drive. 
which is very unfortunate because we have these two lanes for vehicles to drive in and if they want to pass you they kind of have to go into the other lane anyways so why not give that just a little bit more space but unfortunately in hamilton car culture for some reason does not do that they a lot of drivers will try to stay in their lane as much as possible to pass you and it's just like this is why we need a bicycle lane anyways up ahead if you were to take this sidewalk section you would connect to the park corridor trail we're going to pause for a moment we need to cut out where the grass is. I don't like getting rid of grass, but we need to cut out so cyclists can kind of get off the road and then onto that trail. And then also people that want to get onto Upper Ottawa and make a left from the trail, they could kind of stage in an area there. Again, I'm really not a big fan of widening roads. It would be a fairly large indent, but I think it is something that we need because we really shouldn't have cyclists on sidewalks. I don't blame anyone that cycles on sidewalks because a lot of our streets are not safe. And so, yeah, I just don't have any issue with people currently cycling on sidewalks, but let's get an infrastructure where, you know, people feel safe cycling on the road. Up ahead is Stone Church, which has bicycle lanes going both east and west so it is a great street it goes into stony creek upper stony creek and goes as far as meadowlands so that is a great road there's obviously a video already on that route because it is such a great route and here we can see inpatient cars I think he's also impatient with other cars, <laughs> uh, but yeah, we do have impatient cars. And if we just were to have the space for cyclists, then cars really shouldn't get upset, at least not with cyclists. You don't want cars getting upset with cyclists because a contact uh, collision with a cyclist is going to end up with a cyclist in serious injury. Whereas a contact collision with another motorist traveling in the same direction at the similar speed won't result in such devastation. So yeah, we are approaching the end of Upper Ottawa. It goes a little bit past Rymel Road. I believe the recycling facility will be off to the left. You would probably take uh, Kilbride. You'll see Kilbride just before the end. There's not really any bicycle lanes on Rymel Road. There is these really wide shoulders that are paved, uh, but they're not consistent. And that will be something that I'll have to do in a future video. It won't happen this year. Uh, unfortunately, it is now approaching winter. The conditions to be cycling on a very dangerous road such as Rymel um, I don't want to deal with that at the moment. And also it's a very long road. I don't really have the battery capacity to do that. But yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. The road does narrow a little bit after Kilbride or just before Kilbride. And uh, it doesn't reduce the score too much. It's still fairly wide though. For one lane, you could have a bicycle lane still going all the way to the end. Do you really need a bicycle lane all the way to this dead end? Probably not. But uh, yeah, that is it for this video. Hope it was informative. Take care and stay safe. Special thanks to my Patreon supporters who are helping to make improvements to this channel.